Taylor Swift and Travis Kell spotted on a Malibu lunch date following a much-needed Bahamas vacation on Sunday, the pop sensation and Kansas City Chiefs tight end were spotted dining at Nobu in Malibu. Taylor Swift and Travis Kells are spending more quality time together after their recent trip to the Bahamas. On Sunday, the couple was photographed on a lunch date at Nobu in Malibu and appeared to be in good spirits. Swift and Kells, both 34, were seen leaving the restaurant hand in hand while dressed casually for their date. In footage shared on social media during their date, the couple was also seen chatting while sitting at a table for some al fresco dining. Their excursion comes after sources revealed to people that the Kansas City Chiefs tight end and the singer were spotted in the Bahamas on vacation. They vacationed in the Bahamas for several days, a source told people of the trip. It provided a much-needed vacation for both of them, it was quite enjoyable for them, they are quite happy together. Kels was spotted in Cleveland the day before his rendezvous with Swift in Malibu. In addition to swinging by one of his favorite eateries for a slice of pizza, the Super Bowl champ had time to pose for photos with some admirers. His and Swift's trip comes after they spent time traveling across the world together while Swift continues her era's tour. They recently spent precious time together between the pop superstars' gigs in Australia and Singapore in February and March. However, it appears that the two have finally found some time to relax while Swift is taking a break between legs of her record-breaking world tour. Before flying south, a source told people that the couple was spending time together in Los Angeles. They are still very happy. They're really cute together, the source continued. The couple had a date night at the members' only Bird Streets club in West Hollywood and went to an Oscars after party together immediately after returning to the United States from her Singapore gig. Travis has been hanging out with friends and is having a good time just relaxing in LA, said the source. Swift will have a busy spring as she prepares to release her 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, on April 19. She will then take her era's tour to Europe. The second run of gigs begins with four concerts at France's Paris La Defense Arena from May 9 to May 12. While she is off in June, she will tour the United Kingdom Poland and Austria over the summer before returning to the United States for further gigs in the fall. Travis Kells knelt down on the white sand as the Bahamian sunset lit the sky orange and pink. Taylor Swift, his lover, gasped and reached for her mouth. They'd been having a quiet beach meal, the soothing waves providing a rhythmic backdrop to their chat. Travis now held a velvet box that glittered in the fading sunlight. Taylor, Travis began, his voice full with emotion, the last several months with you have been like a dream. You've brought more sunshine into my life than any Super Bowl victory. Taylor's eyes welled up, as a songwriter, she understood the power of words, and Travis's decision sent chills down her spine. He went on, we've laughed together, seen new cities, and cheered one another on, you're my biggest fan, my inspiration, and the lady I adore more than anything. He opened the box and found a magnificent diamond ring that glittered like a caught star. Taylor Allison Swift, he asked, his voice lowering to a raspy whisper, will you marry me? Taylor's face was covered with tears, yet a dazzling smile broke through. Yes, Travis, a million times yes. Travis exclaimed with delight, putting the ring onto her shaking finger. They clasped under the fiery sky, the ocean sound a joyful symphony of love. The next morning, Taylor shared a photo on social media. The photo was simple, two sets of footprints in the sand going to the blue ocean. A single diamond ring sparkled in the forefront. The caption said, forever begins. We've got engaged. At Travis Gell's number engaged number Bahamas Bliss the internet erupted. Fans from the music and football industries flew into a frenzy. Number Tavis Engaged became a worldwide trending topic. Celebrities, sportsmen, and fans all offered their heart. Travis returned to Kansas City and held a press conference with Taylor by his side. This is the happiest moment of my life, he exclaimed, his hand interlaced with Taylor's. She's the perfect partner, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with her. Taylor, ever the storyteller, chipped in. We're both quite excited for the next chapter. It's going to be a wonderful mix of touchdowns and love ballads. For several days, the news dominated headlines. Wedding rumors circulated, with some imagining a large stadium event and others envisioning a sweet fairy tale wedding. But one thing was certain. 
Travis Kelce and Taylor Swift's engagement was a love story for the ages, a perfect combination of two worlds, brought together by the power of love. The Bahamian sunset was a work of art in flaming oranges and pinks, reflecting the warmth that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce exuded on the beach. Laughter had filled the air all afternoon, and the soft sounds of the water provided a steady beat to their light-hearted discourse. Travis suddenly got down on one knee, the setting sun illuminating a ring buried in his hand. Taylor Taylor's eyes widened as a cry escaped her lips. Time appeared to stand still as the waters murmured and the palm trees swayed gently. Taylor Allison Swift Travis said, his voice husky with emotion, the previous two years with you have felt like a dream. You are my biggest cheerleader, my rock, and the song that fills my life with happiness. Will you make me the happiest guy alive by marrying me? Taylor had tears welling up in her eyes. A lifetime of narrative experiences could not have prepared her for this. She flung her arms around Travis and let out a choking sob. Yes, Travis, a million times yes. Their embrace lasted an age, with the ocean breeze carrying their laughter and a chorus of congratulations from a discreetly stationed photographer aided by a worried Travis. Later that evening, Taylor shared a photo on social media. It was a straightforward photograph, two sets of footprints vanishing into the pink and orange horizon with a solitary diamond ring shining in the sand. The caption read, Forever begins today, and forever begins with you, at Travis Gulls. Number engaged, number Bahama Bliss. The internet erupted, Swifties and Chiefs fans both erupted in a whirlwind of congrats and well wishes. The story was covered by news outlets around the world with titles such as Touchdown for Love and Shake It Off into Married Life. Taylor and Travis returned to their oceanfront bungalow and sat on the balcony, watching the stars emerge. Travis held Taylor's hand, the ring reflecting the moonlight. This is unbelievable, Taylor muttered, leaning onto his shoulder. It's kinda perfect, isn't it? Travis replied, bringing her closer. Just us, the ocean, and forever. Taylor and Travis thought they'd discovered something genuinely remarkable when they looked up at the Bahamian sky. Their love story, already a frenzy of stolen moments and shared passions, had just taken a stunning turn toward eternity. The Bahamian sunset bathed the sky with orange and pink, providing a warm warmth on the private beach where Travis Kelce kneeled on the sand. Taylor Swift, his lover, stood before him, a gasp coming from her lips as she took in the situation. Crystal pure water lapped at their feet, palm trees swayed gently in the breeze and strung in his palm held aloft in a velvet box, was a ring that sparkled even in the dim light. It was a stunning design, with a single pear-shaped diamond encircled by a delicate halo. It was flawless, just like Taylor. Taylor, Travis began, his voice heavy with passion, the last two years with you have been the happiest of my life. You brighten even the cloudiest days, and your laughter is the best symphony I know. Taylor had tears welling up in her eyes. Travis had a gift with words, which she found early in their relationship. He went on to say, we've conquered stadiums and studios together, but the greatest adventure is the one we're about to embark on. He gave a hesitant chuckle and unlocked the Taylor Allison Swift, he murmured, his voice lowering to a hoarse whisper, will you marry me? The globe appeared to hold its breath. Taylor looked at the ring, then back at Travis, her heart bursting. This was not something she had ever imagined, especially following the public scrutiny of her previous relationships. However, with Travis, everything seemed different. He was her confidant, her staunchest supporter, and the man who inspired her to believe.